We're in a car. It's Karen, Joey, and me. We're heading to a restaurant. I'm doing the driving. Oh, and why is Joey with us? <sighs> well, we couldn't find a babysitter because my mom's taking Karen's girls to Disneyland and my brother's a dick. A dick who'd rather spend time with his girl than to help us. But no, it's cool. It's all right. I got my revenge for his rejection. I posted two teenage photos of him on Facebook. <laughs> the dude shirtless with a fanny pack and a mustache. <laughs> that a teacher. Anyway, we're meant to have this meeting with Chanel and Santos. They have some news to tell us, and apparently it's good news. So let's hope for that, because I really need it right now. I take a look at Karen beside me. She ignores my stare. She keeps her head straight. She's pissed. Joey laughs out loud. <laughs> Are you two fighting? It's none of your business, Joey. I'll take that as a yes, you are. No, you'll take it as, if I don't shut up, Dad won't take you to that algebra tournament at Berkeley. Good, I don't want to go. I can't risk you loving me more than you do now. And it's kind of pathetic. I took a class poll on it, and my classmates agree with me. Dick. Please don't call my son a dick. I mean, well, he is. Notice how she didn't say our son, just my son, like she doesn't want you to have anything to do with him. Dad, have you considered getting a DNA test done on me? I saw The kid is testing my patience. I try to touch Karen's hand. She takes her hand away and picks up her phone. Joey laughs hard. I'll put the DNA test on my to-do list if you keep pushing me, Joey. Yeah, like I want you to be my dad. I'd rather have that Dick Santos be my dad than you. Yeah, no, I take that back. He's ten times worse than you. <laughs> I should think before I speak. I look at Karen. She glares at me. She ain't messing around. She's not in the mood to talk to me. But even with that, I still try. Look, I, I don't understand why you're still angry about this. You went out with a woman that wasn't me. I had to hear that shit from my cousin. How do you think that makes me feel? I reckon not good. Really, Dad? You are more of a dick than I am to you. And I'm a certified pro at it. Do you want to walk home after we're done at the restaurant? No? Okay, zip it. Look, babe, it's not what it seems. It's not? Then tell me why you had to meet her. Actually, tell me what you discussed. I want to hear it. Look, it's private. Private? Am I stupid? <laughs> I think he's hinting that you are. I dump him now, Mom, to save yourself from further embarrassment. Okay, that's decided. When you go to college early, I'm moving our family to China and not giving you the forwarding address. Ooh, you think I like this family? Look, I'm out of here being Rich Paul while you're, you're... Joey stops talking. Lost your tongue? Mm. I've run out of insults for you. <sighs> Shit, that's depressing. That's not like me at all. We reach the restaurant. Karen, Joey, and I get out of the car. I hand a parking attendant my car keys. He takes the keys and drives off with our car. I try to take Karen's hand, and she slaps mine away. Oh my god, I'm in Wonderland right now! I am totally addicted to the show. Thank you, Dad! And he's back to his normal dumbness. That lasts too long. Your hair's thinner, Dad. You're going bald. I really hope when I take that DNA test, it proves you're not my son. Me too! But I don't think God will give you the chance to escape my mouth of terror. I think he wants me to continue hurting you. What else did he create me for? Karen walks ahead of me. I slap Joey across the head and race off to keep pace with Karen. Karen's too fast for me. She reaches the table and hugs Chanel. Joey and I catch up to them and both Chanel and Karen show teeth to me. <laughs> right now, I'm in a coliseum with a lion chasing me. Tonight, I'm not getting away with my life intact. Santos walks over having come from the bathroom. Joey! Uh, do I know you? Uh, 
I'm your dad's best friend. You know Curtis? How? That's enough, Joey. I'll say when it is. I'm having so much fun today. I'm ready to hear your end of the truth, Ryan, Chanel says. This doesn't concern you, Chanel. Uh, she's my best friend. I'm who she goes to when you're being a dumbass, so don't make me take you down. Uh, bro, her vein's about to pop out. I'd back off if I were. I'm not speaking. I'm gonna sit here and keep my trap shut and hope for a goddamn miracle to get me out this situation. The last thing I need to do is let this fuck situation escalate. Yo, like, I really can't afford for this shit to get out of control. There's too much at stake. I've already fucked up way too much. One wrong turn, and tonight ends up being Hiroshima. And that's not happening on my watch. I'm not gonna let it. I want the truth, Ryan, Karen says. I stand up. Sit the fuck down. I walk off, and Santos follows me. We end up at the bar. We order two scotches. They arrive, and then I do something stupid by sobbing my heart out. Yep, if Karen's watching me right now, she knows I've done something terrible. And yeah, she is. I'm fucked. So something major went down, then like, what happened, bro? Santos asked. I, I think I cheated on Karen. Bro, you're fucking with me. No, no, I'm not. I, I think I cheated. Okay, so tell me what happened. Your sister invited me to a party to her house last week, and she was hosting some adult party for the VIP guests that go to her strip joint, and she asked me to... To do what? To be her DJ for the night. I said no at first, but then she offered me like five grand in cash if I did, and obviously I took the offer. Santos takes in what I'm saying. And luckily for me, he's not judging me. But he might be after I'm about to tell him what I'm about to say right now. Anyway, so there were hot women there at the party. And you were flirting with them? Hell no. No, I, I wouldn't do that while I was sober. So you got drunk and cheated. I mean, I think so. I mean... Look, all I know is I woke up on your sister's bed butt naked. Santos stares at me. Damn, I let down our team. This is like Scottie Pippen letting down Jordan or Kobe and Shaq hating on each other while not caring or noticing how it affects their teammates. Or, to be more universal, Roy Keane talking trash about Manchester United when they were managed by Alex Ferguson. Yeah, <laughs> this dude is cultured. Not that it helps me right now. Who woke you up the following day after the... After the thing? Your sister. Did you ask her what happened? <laughs> nah, bro. Like, I, look, I was just too embarrassed. I, I just got dressed really quick and then I got the fuck out of there. Have you had any contact with my sister since? Yes. Uh, I wanted to work out what happened. And ask her not to tell Karen. Yes, but Karen's cousin saw us and I had to run off. Anyway, I think I convinced her that I was fucking Denise, hence Karen being furious at me. I get tapped on my shoulder. I turn around to find Joey smiling at me. How long have you been standing there? <laughs> long enough to know you ended up sleeping with Denise. Joey runs off before I can grab him. I'm a dead man walking. I'm a target while chained to a tree when there's a purge. I'm not surviving this shit. So you might as well kiss the life you know goodbye, Ryan. Santos gets out his phone. What are you doing? I need to collaborate on this story. It just doesn't seem right to me. What do you mean? Look, just stop Joey from saying anything while I handle this. Bro, I'm telling you, I wouldn't have cheated on Karen if I was sober. Bro, I know that. I, I, look, I know you. Look, just go back to the table while I figure out what's going on and I handle this. I walk back to the table while Santos talks to Denise. I sit down and Joey sends me a smile. Hey, Mom. Dad wants to drive me to the Apple store to get a new MacBook. 
this fucking kid. I'm, I'm gonna kill him one day. And I've watched Dexter enough times to know how to get away with it. I'll make a blueprint on how to murder him if he keeps testing me. So let him keep trying me. Let him. Ryan, we agreed he'd have to pass his following exams before we decided to buy him that. Yeah, but dad feels guilty about something. So he has to buy it now or I tell you why. Okay, what's going on? Chanel asked. Nothing, nothing. We're good. <laughs> why are you sweating then? You look like Niagara Falls is coming down your forehead. <laughs> or like that Key and Peel meme. <laughs> If you're lying to me about something, Brian, I'll... Babe, babe, I'm not. Joe's just being a dick for no other reason than he just likes that job title. And where's Santos at? Chanel asked. He's trying to limit the damage Dad created for himself. What? Chanel exclaims. Okay, start talking now, Karen says. Babe, I'm not hiding anything. Karen and Chanel send me deathly looks. Looks like I'll have to put on my running shoes because when this shit hits the fan, I'm a dead man. Santos walks over. Uh, bro, can I get a word? Um, uh, sit the fuck down, Chanel says. Santos sits. Ryan, start speaking, Karen says. I look at Santos. He nods his head. <sighs> Rye, don't make me have to deal with you. You're hurting my best friend, and I don't like that shit, Chanel says. All right, look, here's a story. I got invited to be a DJ at a party last night. By who? Chanel asks. By Denise. So you slept with her? Karen asks. Santos laughs hard. Um, why are you laughing? Is this funny to you? Santos turns serious again. No, 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 Chanel, look. It's just my sister. <laughs> my sister has standards, plus she doesn't fuck his kind. Okay, you didn't fuck Denise, but who did you fuck? Karen asks. I, I, I don't know whether I did or not. And why the fuck not, Ryan? Chanel asks. Because dad was drunk. What kind of party was this? Denise hosts parties for VIP guests. She invites a few women from the strip joint and like all her high paying clients. I guess you could say it was a sex party. Karen, can I get your permission to slap him, please? Karen looks like she's not playing around. Oh fuck, somebody call the police. There's about to be a fork in my heart. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I, I just slap him when you're not looking. Okay, so you got drunk. Was Denise keeping an eye on you? Karen asks. Yeah, he, <laughs> he puked on his DJ equipment and Denise got him to her bedroom, Santos says. To fuck him? Chanel asks. <laughs> Babe, she's gay. She only fucks chicks. In fact, she fucks all the ladies at her strip club, so she doesn't need his dick, Santos says. Denise is gay, huh? Hmm. I always knew there was something about her. Well, I knew she was strange when she did her 19-year-old babysitter when we were 16, Senso says. Okay, you can take your fingers out your ears now, Joey. Yeah, thanks for remembering there's a kid at the table. So, once you were in the bedroom, how do I know someone didn't come in and take advantage of you? Karen asks. Did you forget the part where he puked at his DJ equipment? <laughs> Plus, Denise locked her bedroom door so Ryan didn't ruin her party any further. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you go to the same party? You weren't home until 3 a.m. Where were you? Chanel asked. Look, Denise invited me to take over Ryan's DJ set when he passed out. And you won't be surprised to know I rocked it like a champion. See, I didn't cheat. You have to believe me. I'll believe it when I corroborate your story with Denise. Karen excuses herself and walks off. I see her in the distance taking out her phone to call Denise. You believe I wouldn't cheat, right, Chanel? I mean, now I do, but for a second there, it could have gone either way. Why? You aren't sleeping with her, Ryan. You avoid all physical contact with her. I mean, we're, we're bound to be suspicious. 
Should I buy earplugs so you guys can stop making me put my fingers in my ears? Look, he has his reasons for not sleeping with her. Yeah, and what are they? Before I can answer, Karen comes over and sits down. You'll be happy to know your story matches up with Denise's. You're off the hook. Just don't mess it up. Um, Karen, we're taking Joey home. You two have a lot to discuss, Chanel says. Chanel and Santos grab their jackets and look to head off. Wait, y'all were going to tell us something. Yeah, it can wait. You two need to talk first. See ya, losers! Joey, Santos, and Chanel walk off. <sighs> it's just Karen and me. And I'm fucking nervous. So, what should we talk about? You know. <laughs> I do? <laughs> You've been avoiding getting close to me, and I'm sick of guessing why that is. I, no, I haven't been avoiding anything. Negro, I see it. I see all through your tricks, and I'm not stupid. Just tell me the fucking truth. Okay, look, I'll admit it. I've been uncomfortable in certain situations, but look, it's all mental. It has nothing to do with you. Karen scoffs. Who are you lying to here? Yourself? Tell me what's going on in your head. I take a deep breath. I might as well tell Karen what's going on. Nothing will get sorted out unless we talk. <sighs> so, it's time to talk. Karen takes a sip of her wine. I start talking. Look, I'm scared to get close to you because I think you're still in love with Curtis. Karen laughs. <laughs> what? No, I'm not. What? what makes you think that? Look, a minute, Karen. Look, I know the truth. You've been calling him behind my back. Uh, yeah, I have. And you know why that is? Yeah, why? He's a father to my girls. Okay, so you said you were flying out to Florida three weeks ago to see your mom. But I know you actually flew out to L.A. to see Curtis. Don't deny it. You lost your luggage and the airport called me. Hence, me knowing you were in LA. So, who's smug now? Me. That's who. Take it and smoke it. You're so fucking stupid. Is that all you have to say for yourself? Yes. He's the father of my two children. He has the right to know about our children. And I maintain that I did nothing wrong. You lied, Karen. And I don't know what any moral expert would say, but I think they hint that you were morally corrupt there. Not if nothing happened, which it didn't. Once again, I maintain my conscience is clear. Look, you have a past, Karen. You have a past with Curtis where you cheated on me with him, which I'd like you to not bring up, please. No, I think it's pretty relevant to this situation, don't you? Once again, I didn't cheat on you. I flew out to L.A. with my two daughters and they spent time with their dad. I stayed in a hotel. I met Curtis twice. The rest of the time, I spent with my friends. Nothing happened. Believe me or don't. But either way, if you want to carry on with this little debate, you treat me with the respect I deserve, or you'll be the only one involved in this debate. I won't be. I take a breath. I'm going to have to make a decision that I'll regret for a long time. And look, it, it's terrible, but hear me out. Karen has a history. A history with Curtis. She lied to me again. And I, I think I think we need a break from each other. Also, I need to work out if I could ever love her again. And until I figure that out, I don't think we could go the distance. Look, right now I can't see us in Florida in our 60s. I can't even see us together with our grandchildren. There's no fucking future for us that I see. So it's time to admit that to her. It's time for us to speak our truths. What are you thinking? She asks. Um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we need a break. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, you're, you're tripping. Look, look, if you take this road and... You take this road, you might not be able to find yourself back to me. Instead, you'll be lost in the forest and stuck. 
and eventually you're just going to be forced to fade away. Maybe I want that. Like, just the thought of you right now is just it's making me sick. Karen stands up. She grabs her bag and exits. Just the thought of you is making me sick. <laughs> Welcome to the villain school. You've been accepted, dummy. I silently kick myself. What the fuck did I just do? Like, seriously, what the fuck was that? I need to go fucking find her. I, I need to make this right. I, I've blown this shit way out of proportion. I stand up and race to the restaurant lobby. There's a cab. Karen enters it and I shout her name. Karen, wait! She turns around in tears. She gets into the cab and closes the door. I race over to the cab, but it pulls away before I touch the door handle. Karen's gone. I've lost her. <laughs> there, there's no coming back here. This is game over. I've lost the love of my life. <laughs> Hell awaits me. This Shit Is Real was read by me, Smurf Brown, and written by Joao Nasir. <laughs>